producing solar. Its powerful battery can be charged with the integrated solar panel or back plug. With the Solari, you can run or charge all your electronics. The future is in your hands. Slime molds. What are they? Slime molds are amoeba-like single-cell organisms. They feed on decaying plant and vegetable matter. So you might find them in these like reddish-orange blobs that you see on rotting wood in forest. Or if you live in the suburbs, they're that stuff that sort of discolors your bark, your mulch. Slime molds lead a pretty simple life. What they do is they absorb microorganisms, they secrete a little waste, and then they just sort of move on about their day. They don't write plays or watch television, they don't ride bikes or anything like that. Slime molds are interesting, though, because when under stress, and by stress here I mean just a lack of a food source, when they're stressed, they've got nothing to eat, what an individual slime mold will do is it'll secrete an enzyme. So you can think of this as a warning signal. Nearby slime molds will sense this enzyme, and if they're in similar straits, they'll sort of move in the direction of the other slime mold, and when they do, they'll secrete this enzyme as well. This creates sort of an even stronger enzyme path, so you can think of this as a party that's spreading by word of mouth, except for the fact that slime molds don't have mouths. What they're doing is secreting. So it's a party spreading by secretion, if you will. Now, it's not hard to figure out what's going to happen. As all these little creatures start heading toward some source that's releasing the enzyme, they're releasing more of it, you're going to get a colony that begins to form. So this colony looks sort of like jello, like a globule of jello. And like jello, the colony consists of identical cells. There's no cell differentiation. Each slime mold is the same. So the colony has no heart, no brain, and like the lion, it has no courage. It's just 100,000 or so little creatures banding together to form a bigger creature. And this bigger creature has a name. It's called a pseudoplasmodium. Okay, here's where the story gets re really interesting. The pseudoplasmodium can walk. The individual cells can move, but the pseudoplasmodium moves along like a slug. I mean, this is incredible, right? This is emergence writ large. You've got this functionality. What started out as a bunch of single, identical creatures is now a superorganism that sort of walks along. In fact, early scientists thought of these pseudoplasmodia as creatures. They thought they were slugs, but they're not. They're just colonies of individual, identical cells. But it gets even better than this. So at some point, so you've got this little society of amoebas, this colony, it stops moving if it can't find food. And the individual cells, the individual slime molds, start crawling on top of one another and create a stalk. Almost, think of this like circus performers that, you know, create some giant human pyramid. Now, some of these creatures who are lucky enough are going to make it to the top of this stalk. And when they do, in a last-ditch effort to survive, they're going to produce some little spores. These are just seeds that spawn other slime molds. These spores are just spread by the wind or the rain. And actually, if you want, you can go on YouTube or some video on Science Show and watch videos of this. So these things started out as identical, but now they start forming different roles. Some form the stalk, and some create the spores. This is known as breaking symmetry. What started out as symmetric is no longer symmetric. This idea of breaking symmetry is going to be a core concept when you talk about emergence. So this is really, the slime mold is an epic emergent, right? We've got individual parts that are identical, produce something in the aggregate that's, for lack of a better word, just amazing, right? And they do this as a way to survive. Now, it's, in some ways, it's difficult not to be awestruck by the example of the slime molds. But really, if you think about it, slime molds are nothing compared to the human brain. The brain consists of billions of neurons that are constantly reconnecting and disconnecting. They communicate through chemical and electrical pathways. And as a result, the brain is capable of many of the same tricks as your basic laptop computer. It can store data, it can recall things, and so on. But even more incredibly, it produces consciousness. Consciousness is, in many respects, the ultimate emergence. It's a functionality that exists at the macro level, at the level of the brain, that cannot exist in the parts. Introducing solar. Its powerful battery can be charged with the integrated solar panel or back plug. With the solar, you can run or charge all your electronics. The 
future is in your hands.